Is this free screen recorder and video editor better than Camtasia 2022? Well, stick around to the end and you'll find out. All right, guys, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula, and here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to better help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now here we are at a site called ClipChamp. Now ClipChamp is now owned by Microsoft Office and it's a free one that you can actually download this which is awesome but you can have this one online usually this is an online item so if you don't have internet connection there is that minor problem where if there's no internet connection you can't edit and you can't record but outside of that if you have got the internet connection and you've got a good one which constantly goes then you can create something like this. But I will say that it does have a limitation on the free version of only having 30 minute clips. And that's okay because most people don't like watching videos more than 30 minutes long anyway. So let's have a quick look at what it looks like, what you get. With this as a free version, you can get a whole bunch of you know, different transitions, different things that you can do. You can do the little TikTok type videos if you wish to or you can do shorts and you can do your regular size videos and so forth so let's have a bit of a look inside oh, price wise let's have a quick look at pricing if you wish to so I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and we'll click on this one so we can have a quick look at the pricing now over here you get your basic one which is free and unlimited but it also gives you 1080 exports now one of the reasons I like this one if you notice right now, I'm currently recording using Camtasia. Now, if you look around, you won't see my head on the screen. And the reason you won't see my head on the screen is because since I have upgraded to Camtasia 2022, it's not liking my camera. In fact, it won't record my video camera, which is really frustrating and annoying when the 2018 version used to do it and the 2021 version used to record my image but it's not doing that anymore so I'm looking for an alternative until they fix it anyhow so that's why I'm looking around and that's why I have found ClipChamp and it seems to be pretty good so far anyhow I will record a little bit of this in ClipChamp so you can see what it's like so right now you've got your basics which is free which is the one I'm currently using, or you can go for the creator, which gives you unlimited video exports, 108 exports, content backup, unlimited audio stock. And if you decide to go to your business, which is the most popular, $19 a month, it's unlimited video exports, 108 exports, contract backup, content backup, unlimited audio stock and bandwidth kit. And if you want to pay yearly, it brings the price down substantially. That makes it $72 a year. And this one here is $156 a year which makes it $13 a month now you also have the business plan which is the complete package unlimited stock videos unlimited image videos images as well as brand kit for $324 a year which is $27 a month but if you want to go monthly that will probably be about $39 a month so that's ClipChamp now over here if you want to go for Camtasia Camtasia has a lot more to offer. Now, if you want to go for Camtasia with, from TechSmith, you can definitely do that. Right now, it's not liking my, my my Canon EOS, but it does work on my phone. So if you mostly do your video recording on your phone, then it most likely won't have an issue. And you can do all of the sort of things. They have really improved their transitions. They've really improved all of their audio and their visuals. Now over here we're looking at the transition section and the transitions are just awesome. They have all these fantastic ones. I like the glitch one that I usually use for my wording. You also have gl glitch two which is here. And you have a whole bunch of different kinds. As you scroll through you can have a look at the various different kinds of transitions. Their video library or their library has got a lot of different things as well. 
and they are they have really 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 improved what they have done for you and this really is worth the price however I really hope that they fix the Canon issue up because it's quite frustrating to be quite honest that I can't record my image at the same time as recording my video okay so I'm going to stop this one right now and I'm going to show you one coming from Clipchamp and we'll compare the difference now let's go and have a look at what it looks like on the inside so just click on there and we are in the inside now you can choose to do the in video one so let's have a quick look here so if you want to do the screen camera and screen and camera all you have to do is click on that one and that will bring this area here up now I just have to make sure that my camera is turned on so as it will pick up on this video for me otherwise it won't pick it up there we are as you can see I'm on the screen right there and hello now if I decide to hit record I'll be double recording and that will just slow my computer down no end so I won't be doing that right this second however I will be recording the next section showing you Camtasia on using this particular one so I'm going to just turn that off for one second so as not to ruin it okay we also have the area where you can do your main video or your main camera you also have your screen recording with just your screen recording like what I'm doing right now and you also have the text-to-speech which is also really cool now text-to-speech is basically what they have on Microsoft Office Word so you can have a look at that now you can also have a look at the various templates that they have you click on there and these are all the templates or you can have a look at the free templates which are here and you can have a look at the different kind of templates that they have on offer that they're giving to people for free and you can use those in your videos and now of course you've got your ones like your TikTok type videos and your your shorts type videos like what they have on YouTube shorts they also have other types of videos that you can choose from okay so another one you can do is you also have your video and music or music if music effects I should say so you can have a look at your hip hops or your and various different types you also have paid ones which have the diamond on there and you also have your stock videos which you click on this one and you can have a look at the various stock videos they have some for free that you can have a look at and you also have other ones that are for free and you also have your free subscribe buttons as well and you also have some paid things that you can choose to use as well now if you want you can have a look down here there's also other things here of course you've got your stock images as well and you'll have some free ones as well as paid ones you can choose from you can also look at the different text effects which are really cool you have so have a look at some of these text effects they're really quite professional looking and incredibly well done and I really like a lot of these text effects in fact I'm going to probably use one or two of them myself throughout this video so keep an eye open for them you got your lower thirds and you got your other types as well and you also have various graphics you can choose from and they're basic they're very basic graphics that you can choose from and you also have your transitions your transitions are good I think Camtasia's transitions are probably better they have more of them in Camtasia but that's okay for free for pretty much a free video recorder this is really good and then you have your brand kit which you really have to be a paid member to use anyway so that's not really an option okay you can have a look at your, your video you got your media and that is about it for okay so here we are at Camtasia if you have a look over here it's the library section we'll go over here to where it says Camtasia 2022 and you can see they have a whole bunch of new areas now when I was on Camtasia 2018 I upgraded recently to 2021 and then they within a few days of upgrading to 2021 they brought out 2022 and I was able to upgrade straight to 2022 now this was all completely different to what 2021 was all of the call outs and all of these sort of things here have completely changed and they are so much better you also have over here your transitions now over in 2021 and 2022 they have very similar transitions however the 2022 have changed just a little bit 
This one here used to be a clear transition, but now it's green, which I think is a much better option. It becomes much more obvious. And then you have a lot more different transitions you can have a look at. I personally prefer the glitch transition for when I do my glitchy words. And it happens to be, where is it? Down here, called glitch. And that's usually the one I use when I use it on my words and it disappears. And you'll often hear like an electrical sound. And that's what I use for this particular one. As you can see, I'm currently using Clipchamp. So, tell me what you think in the comment box down below what you think of Clipchamp so far. Okay, so that is Camtasia in a nutshell. Of course, it has its video recording options, which normally allows you to be able to record your camera as well as the screen. But unfortunately, in this particular case, it's not letting me do it. It used to let me do it in 2018 and also 2021, but for some reason, it stopped doing it in 2022. And it's a problem, but hopefully, Clipchamp will get me around that. Now, if you want to know what I think here, which one's better? Well, because currently, Clipchamp will allow me to be able to record my screen and also my camp, my, myself as well on the screen. I do believe that Clipchamp is better and it's free. But if you're wanting more features like you're having transitions, the transitions are so are fantastic. The also too, just to let you know, if you have a phone, Camtasia will still record. It will still record, do all the things, do all that sort of thing. It will still do everything as needed. But unfortunately, with Camtasia at the moment, it's not doing Canon M50 Mark IIs, which is a bit of a problem. But they are working on that apparently. Hopefully they'll fix it soon. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Now, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And if you click on the icon on my head just here, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And I just want to say bye for now.